Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hope you guys are doing well. Just checking my monitor over there. Sorry about the headphones. I was a little bit too lazy to take them off, apparently, and <clears throat> now they're attached for the remainder of this video. So, anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to talk about this whole um, uh, issue in Texas with this seven-year-old boy who his mother is trying to transition into a girl um parents are divorced mother's a pediatrician i don't know what the father does but apparently it was a really nasty divorce and the mother is trying to paint the father as this like child abusing bitter asshole because uh, you know obviously they just they just don't get along so she's painting this guy um as an asshole uh and and you know, she's, she's she's saying that he's committing child abuse because he's not listening to his son saying, I want to be a girl. Well, I've seen a couple of videos on this, and I've listened to the child talk, and he never says he wants to be a girl. He says, Mommy calls me a girl, and Mommy wants me to be a girl. Um, and, and the horrible part about this, well, not, I mean, not, not that the whole thing's horrible already, but uh, he has a uh, paternal twin brother. And I was reading an article uh, earlier, and it's his twin brother has told his mother that he wants to go live with his father because this is just too confusing, and he wants to go live with dad. Quite frankly, I can't blame the kid because the other boy is probably going, I, I don't know what to do. I I I, I think that the seven year old I can't believe I think his name is Jeffrey. Maybe I don't, I'm gonna look down here. Um. I can't remember what his name is. I have a, I have a, some notes in front of me, but I think that the child's name is, um, it's not Jeffrey, it's James. His name is James Younger. <clears throat> so in my opinion, James is trying to do what a lot of kids who have gone through a divorce are doing. They please their mother when they're there. They please their father when they're with them. So I think that um, you know, when he's with his mother, he's trying to please her, um, as much as he can, because, you know, you want your parents to be happy. So I think what he's doing is he's like, all right, well, mom says I'm a girl, so I'm going to be a girl while I'm here. And when I'm with dad, I'm going to be a boy. And, you know, I'm really a boy, but I'm just doing this to please mom. He, I saw, I saw another video where he was, I think three years old and his father was filming it. The kid's three years old, and, and he's saying, uh, you know, what's mommy tell you you are? And he says, a girl. Are you kidding me? The kid's three years old. So this has been going on for at least three and a half, four years. The kid's seven years old now. There is no, <clears throat> there's no way in hell that I would tell one of my three kids that you are the opposite of what you are. Um without them going, you know, exhibiting certain things. Even then, you know, there are some boys who want to play with dolls or whatever. Does it make them not a boy? No. They just have different interests. They're playing with other things. I can tell you from what my kids did, it's like as soon as my both my sons were born, they had a truck or a tool in their hand. And my daughter, very much a girl. She always wanted to play with dolls. She wanted to do girl things and there was it wasn't like my wife and I said okay um, you are now you're going to sit in front of a truck and that's what you're, you're going to play with because you're a boy and you're going to go sit in front of this doll and that's what you're going to play with because you're a girl no we never said that it just kind of happened naturally and for this mother who I think is um, forcing her child to be a gender that he's not and in my opinion it's because she wants a daughter and she's so messed up in the head that she thinks that oh I'm gonna I'm just going to um, transgender my one of my sons into a girl, and I'm gonna start doing this at a young age, and I'm gonna really mess him up, and then he'll think he's a girl because that's what he was been told his entire life, and then when he becomes 18 years old and commits suicide because he's so jacked up, it's your fault, lady, because you know nothing good is gonna come out of this. There's no way anything good is going to come out of this doctor trying to convince 
her, her seven-year-old son that he's a girl. And I'm very glad that this court in Texas gave both parents, uh, especially the father, equal rights in medical treatment, psychological treatment. I think the other one was like dental treatment. So any medical treatment has to be um, 100% for both parents. So if one parent says, I want to give my son hormones and turn him into a girl, <laughs> no, the father can go, uh, kiss my ass, lady, not happening, and it won't happen. Not going to happen. Now, my personal beliefs on this whole transgender thing, I don't understand it. Um, but I think that if you're old enough, maybe 18 years old, you're you're considered an adult by law. So at 18, then I believe that you should go, all right, well, now I would like to transition into whatever sex it may be. At seven years old? I don't freaking think so, man. There's no way a seven-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 12-year-old knows what they want to be or who they are as a person. Biologically, they are a girl or a boy. At 18, you're still biologically a girl or a boy, but if you want to identify as the other party or as the other as the other sex, go for it. Just go for it. But you got to be 18. You can't be seven years old. That is child abuse to me. What the mother is doing is child abuse, in my opinion, by trying to transition this kid into a girl. He doesn't have free will, really. I mean, he has free will, but not when you're living under your parents' roof and, and at such a young age. Your parents dictate what you do. Uh, for the most part. So um, this doctor, in my opinion, is committing child abuse by trying to transition this kid. Talk about messing someone up for life. That is what this lady is doing. Um, now, getting back to my opinions on this whole thing, like I said, 18 years old, do whatever you want. But in my opinion, you are always what you were born. You're either a boy or you're a girl. And when you have a sex change, you're just a, I don't know, a boy with girl parts, a girl with boy parts. It's just odd to me. I don't discriminate. I don't care. I mean, I don't care who you are. If, you, if you're happy, that's awesome. Be who you are, but you need to be an adult. Um, it just pisses me off that this mother actually thinks that she was she was going to get away with this until the court stepped in. I'm glad this went viral. I'm glad this went national because it's going to say I can only imagine how many other whack job parents there are out there trying to make their kid into one gender or the other because there's some kind of hole in their life. I'm, I'm telling you, that's ha that has to be what it is. She has to have a hole in her life so big that she's going to screw up one of her own kids. Um, you know, and 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 also in this article it said that. When as soon as the as soon as James gets to his father's house or he picks him up, he's like, "All boy, all boy." Um, you know, it it's uh, there was this article went went for uh this writer wrote, um, <clears throat> the article after he spent like I think like a weekend or a day with the father, kind of going through what he what he does when he picks the kids up, right, whatever. So James on the way back to his mother's house wanted to wear a full on suit and tie. You can't tell me that was some kind of like, screw you, mom. This is who I am. I'm a boy. Look at my suit. Um. Anyways, this fires me up. It should fire you up. It should scare the hell out of you because if this went in the opposite direction and the court said, oh, well, go ahead. You can transition your son into a, into a girl at seven years old. Here's all the hormones you need. And that that would have set a horrible precedent for this whole thing. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I, I told you what I think. I think it's I think transgender should be you should be an adult if you wanna pick a side. Um you're still biologically what you were born with, in my opinion. And um you know, that's it. Uh, <laughs> it's just, there's my brain is going Ew, too much shit going on. Too much weird shit going on in this world. It's like PC culture has taken over and and common sense has gone completely out the window because in what world do you think that doing this to a seven-year-old boy is right? No. I guarantee you it was like 15 years ago. Wouldn't be happening. Anyways, I need to go eat lunch.
hungry. Got to take these headphones off. It's making my neck hot. Do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Um, if you are subscribed, check and make sure you're still subscribed because there's funky stuff going on with this stupid algorithm. Give me a big thumbs up. Check, uh, Click that bell icon to make sure you get notified when I put out more content. And always remember to stay on the right side. Talk to you soon, guys. Have a great day.